seems like a good moment to talk. New meat drider. <laughs> oh, the queen sent them. Her Majesty's flesh grows full and glorious. Helped us with some harpers on the way, too. They're shadow bait now. <laughs> Move. His thoughts seek yours, searching, grasping. Your parasite squirms in recognition. Disciple Sorrel's in the Great Hall. She'll be wanting to see you. Rest of you, head on in. The others will go in, but I will go up. My queen summons me to her chapel to be in her presence. I hear you, sweet majesty. I am coming. Queen. Ah, oh, you survived this run. You and all. Drink. Drink. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the Another secret true of the absolute. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. Even those we once called monsters. I will not be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash. Oi. What? You scrag! Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorne gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? Your mind extends outward and grasps at nothing. In Catherick's place, you feel an absence. No psionic power. No tadpole at all. The goblins! They failed me. They failed us all. You lying little! And what would you do to those that have failed you? They are put to death, obviously. True. Ultimate failure must earn ultimate punishment. Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. No! Make her passing slow, Disciple Zorel. Be creative. Ah, the true soul who delivered a grove of non-believers into the Absolute's arms. And what do you have to contribute? A pity, then, that her faith was so inadequate. Take her below.
Bye bye, princess. Kill the goblins, too. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Do have fun. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal. the absolute and praise you true soul Zarel won't be pleased about this she strikes me as the type to enjoy a little bloodshed the seat of the absolute's power occupied by a general that cannot be killed but his followers are flesh and blood we must learn what fuels his power This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Thou art the master. Perhaps we should consider helping Linthara. She may be a useful person to owe us a favor. Need something? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly across your memories in a blaze of excitement. 
she sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. Very pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. You long to be touched. A shame we're preparing for war, or I might find time for you. But all you truly need is the Absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. To take without asking. To feel without doubting and to kill without consequence. In a word, freedom. By serving General Thorm, I have a mission for you. That's it, play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there, aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. You can pass, in the name of the salute. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation, save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, true soul. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciple Zrel has given you a chance to earn that honor. grasps at nothing. She carries no parasite, 
that you've spent too long reading people not to see what's behind her eyes. Scorn, stark behind her mask of deference. As you see, true soul, there is so much more for you to learn. Everything. Seems powerful. What can it do once it's extracted? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Something for Lazelle, I suppose. What are we here?
Delivered. Safe and sound. Don't forget us as you claw your way up the ranks, true soul. Good luck, true soul. The disciple demands much of those who serve her. She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. Raj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. Put plainly, I'd like your blood. A vial of true soul's blood, specifically. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest... I keep for myself. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits. In a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? As it should be. Do you have a name, spawn? Astarian, but hold on. Good. Now, Astarian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours. If you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? 
Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. Have all day, true soul. Fine, I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. your taste. You're fetid, full of corruption. I feel exquisite, though. So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. Welcome back, true soul. Still alive. So look at that. Progress. Too much no time to bowing rest. and scraping. I'll happily take the shadows instead. Here we go. To have a word. I caught a glimpse of Ketherick and Sorel. Wouldn't have the gumption to stick my nose in like you did, mine. Brothers, sister, wait with me while we kiss. I, I, I'm not worthy.
tremors, like a child at her first. quite catch a glimpse but you recognize this feeling the same alien presence you felt on the nautiloid your awareness unfolds expanding through every wall in the tower every mind a vast living network extending down into the dark where something wakes. What in the hells is that? It's a trap! Tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist. That presence in your mind looms large, closer now. is no longer approaching you, but encircling you, observing you. to compress its vast being down into terms you can understand. This is the voice they have given me. To better speak to your kind without breaking you. I was once a servant of the grand design. away the grip on you tightens a desperate drowning thing that pulls you down with it enough of this release yourself Absolute must be keen to meet us. Careful. It nearly had you.
focus on the glory to come, yeah. Absolute pick in a fight with the whole damn coast. And when we win, they'll be loop enough to make us lords. <laughs> I... I suppose. Where do you hail from? I was a farrier in Disarin Valley. And the dreams came. My brothers had the dreams too. Same as me. The absolute calls us all to her design. Your family calls her. for mercy from other gods, won't I? I need a quick word. You were adored, Minthara. Brought up from the darkness and into the absolute light. She cherished you. But it wasn't enough. You were distracted by your own desires. Bloodlust. Murder. Chaos. And most damning of all, an inability to follow orders. I obeyed to the best of my ability! And isn't that depressing? You are nothing. Minthara's mind connects with yours. Not strong as you remember it, but fractured. Disintegrating. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. We are erasing her. Willful, though. But you are right. Whatever is useful, we will leave intact. None of you will break me! Wrong! Me. Stand down, or we will put you down! I think not! You're dead! Oh. Oh. 
What now? These boots have seen everything. to be greeted as a hero. But the wretches imprisoned me and tried to tear my mind apart. I didn't think anyone would come for me. Erasing my thoughts and my will. Even I could not have endured for much longer. Agreed. Lead the way. Minthara is supposed to be in a cell. You have some explaining to do. avoided a fight this time, but bullying your way out of Moonrise is a risky proposition. Their death is merely delayed. We will return and kill them all. Better not be cursed. Fault. Deal with them, or I will. We heard she'd been escorted from her cell. Not that she could leave the tower. The general ordered that she be repurposed, not freed. Excellent. Hers was a difficult mind to erase, no doubt. She was fierce and erratic. I live to serve. Uh -huh. As loyal as a golem. Mm. Use her well.
I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. Something's on my mind. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute. The things that were done to me. They broke my mind. Precisely. While our tadpoles live, and the cult have the means to control them, we will never be safe. We must eradicate them. Starting with General Thorm. I mean, Ketherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. All that live can die. I can help you plot Ketherick's demise, but I need something from you first. Swear that you will keep me close. Until the Absolute is dead, at least. Thank you. I knew you were different to other true souls when we met. But I could see nothing clearly. Now, thanks to the prism, the absolute does not cloud my thoughts at all. I see that together. We can have our vengeance on those who infected us. Rest well, and keep your wits about you. Tomorrow, we go to war with the cult of the absolute. General Thorm would have the world believe that his invulnerability is a gift from the Absolute. That is a lie, intended to impress those who flock to the cult's cause, and to strike fear in the minds of those who stand against the Absolute. I believe Thorm draws his power not from a divine source, but an arcane one. I suspect it is the very relic that Balthazar has been sent to retrieve. We must find the Necromancer, and claim what he seeks. Or destroy it. Now, rest. We will need our strength for what lies ahead. I would gladly join you in the fight. Leave one of your other allies here, and I shall. 